What's your favorite memory of being in a circus or seeing a first circus? My favorite memory of the circus is actually Cirque du Soleil, and it's the silks. The silks, my favorite. I'm just in awe. Yeah. My my super memory of being with the circus is the group performance. Not being a solo performer mm. and sharing the stage with other performers to create these magical moments. Now when you see a circus and all of a sudden you decide to come and be in a circus, what's that feeling like? <laughs> um, let's see. The decision to join the circus is feeling... I'd have to say it's larger than me. I, I go through a range of emotions. I'm very excited. I'm terrified. I'm just exhausted. I'm full of energy. I feel wide-eyed like a child. And then there are moments where I feel so exhilarated that, you know, it's as if I've left my body. And it's all worth it. And it's all worth it. <laughs> <laughs> what was the toughest thing for you guys? The toughest thing for me as a trainer, okay, in the circus or in celebrity circus? Well, in general, because it's not an easy job. It is not an easy job. The the main main thing is to be regular because you learn very very difficult stunt and it's not like a, a stunt where you do it once and it's finished you repeat it it's the concentration it's the the the, the training the stability in your performance because you still want to enjoy it act because you got to sell the stunt you know as a performer and still do the stunt oh gosh <laughs> <laughs> I'm not there yet. I'm not at the point of selling it. I'm still at the point of, oh my God, oh my God. I can do this, I can do this. Keep your head. Yes. Keep your wits about you. That's my challenge right now. Now this is a special thing. This is the last question because two networks fought over this to have this. So this, this is going to be very, very important. Why should the audience turn in to see this? Why? Because it is the unknown. It is actually the unknown. And you've got, you know, people doing it who have never done it before and we're learning things in a very short time span. So we're having to go from zero to 60 in like two seconds. And to me, that's fantastic. And, and for, for nothing else, just the bravery level of everyone to, to do this. Well, with that, how did you come out as a different person? Well, I, I am, I'm not that different person yet, but I'm working on it because I'm having to hone my own mental ability. Mm -hmm. The focus is just something I've never had to deal and with. And I have to stop you here because she won't be a different person. She's going to be a fuller person. Mm -hmm. And that's what this show is all about. It's basically to link the alien, extraordinary human beings doing circus with people that don't do circus. And I don't want to say normal people, <laughs> although I should, but, <laughs> but it's to link them. It's going to explain and show what's needed when you do performance like this. And it's going to break a little bit the big, big barrier mm. of, oh, these are from another planet. No, 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 <laughs> we are human beings. And this is what we did to get there. <laughs> You're going to join us, don't worry. <laughs> I hope so. Yeah. Stacey, what's coming up for you next? Um, this, and I, I've just launched a line of lingerie. Really? So, yes, and it's called Letters of Mark. And um, we're launching online sales in July. So you can go to www.lettersofmark.com. <laughs> Very good. Was it difficult to get that for you? Um, no, you know, I launched a year ago, and it's just so exciting. I am so excited, and I'm having such a good time. I'm learning what it is to be a salesman and a designer, and it's just brilliant. I love it. I'm so lucky. My life is fantastic. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you.